Okay guys, yes, you read the title right. We are expecting baby number four due May 2021 or May 26, 2021. So this baby was not planned. Obviously none of my kids were planned, but this baby was not planned. I actually um, took plan B about not even 24 hours after, you know, so, um, I did talk to my doctor about that and ask him if the baby would be okay because I took that. He said, absolutely. Usually nothing happens. Most of the time nothing happens. So that's nothing to worry about. Um, I was worried just because I'm not on birth control consistently just because of my health condition. Hot, the hormones can actually make it worse. So I am not on birth control. So we try and take as many precautions as we can. But, um, you know, some things just happened and we did take another precaution and try the plan B, which obviously did not work. And two weeks after taking the plan B, I thought maybe because of the hormone in the plan B was causing my POTS symptoms to flare up, which I'll go into more detail about POTS is in another video. But basically my heart rate was really, really high. It was like in the 130s, just walking around doing the normal activities that you do every day. Um getting a drink you know taking a shower it was like almost in the 150s so i definitely knew something was going on i just thought it was maybe the plan b pill that i took because i really honestly haven't taken that in years so um i thought it was just maybe that causing all my symptoms to flare up and then once it was like two weeks later i just felt like i told my husband i was like i just don't feel right i'm kind of a little worried i honestly feel like i'm pregnant so um one day i was out and about it was actually september <laughs> you okay okay so on september 13th a day after my birthday i was actually out and about um by myself i was doing some you know retail therapy i guess you could say my husband just gave me a day to just go out no kids for a few hours and actually out for like four or five hours by myself so it was really nice but just the whole time I was out, I just had this really, really like big feeling inside that I was pregnant. And um, I told him, I was like, I'm going to take a test. You know, he was like, you're, you're just, you're freaking out for no reason. But I was like, no, I'm going to take a test. So I ended up grabbing one while I was out. I waited until the kids went to sleep. I didn't want them to know what was going on. So I just waited until I think it was like nine o'clock at night. I know you're supposed to do it in the morning, but um actually it was nine o'clock at night and it came up positive i was honestly shocked myself because i was really hoping that it was my pot symptoms not saying that we don't want this baby because obviously we want this baby i love my babies i here's one of them i am um, i'm excited i'm a little nervous because i've had a traumatic birth experience with layla which i'll make another video on that for you guys but i am nervous i'm excited i'm scared um we have a lot of stuff going on that we have to do we're going to be moving out of my parents house um my grandparents just gave us their minivan that they no longer have been using so um that's a big help we didn't have to go and get an additional car because my husband actually needed one for himself so that was a huge blessing but as far as the van goes we just had to put a lot of work into it recently um just some things the there's lights coming on the car is really old so um we just needed the room and my husband works on cars as like a hobby he's done it before um so <laughs> where are you going so he's able to research and like look up what parts he needs and fix it so um he actually has one more thing that he needs to work on and hopefully it'll fix it and make all like the little lights and the little signals go away but it's um just a lot going on we we're blessed, you know, um, I've been looking at baby things, I've already bought some baby items as you saw in the beginning, because I am excited. Um, having a newborn is just one of my favorite, favorite things, I, I love babies. Um, I can get you more for you to get you more um, <clears throat> So I just knew that something, I just knew something was, um, was going on with my body, and I really thought it was my pops at first. And then when I took the test, I was I was looking up. Actually, I was researching a lot of stuff, seeing if POTS could get worse at the beginning of the pregnancy. And it definitely can. It can get worse or it can get better. So that gave me another indication that um, I should probably take a test. So I 
when I took it and I saw it, I was shocked, you know, and then I walked up to my husband and I was like, I told you. So he was, um, when I told my husband, he was very shocked himself. He, <laughs> your hair. So when I told my husband, it was definitely a shock to him. His jaw just completely dropped and he didn't believe me that something was going on with my body. He didn't believe me that deep down inside, I thought that I was pregnant. So um, when I gave that to him, he was pretty, um, <clears throat> pretty overwhelmed at the time. So it was definitely a big shock to everybody. There's some people in the family who didn't take it as well. There's some people in the family who are very supportive. So um, there's just a lot going on right now. It was a lot for me to process. Currently today, I am 13 weeks, five days. I will be 14 weeks on Wednesday. So today is November 23rd. We are a few days before Thanksgiving. Um, so I'm definitely gonna be eating for two on this Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays. It's probably my second favorite holiday. Christmas is my first, but I just love to eat. I love food. So this is just going to be another excuse for me to be able to eat as much as I can. But, um, so today I actually have blood work that I need to do for the genetic testing. You are supposed to get that done in between 13 weeks and 15 weeks. So I have that scheduled for a few hours from now, which, um, it's only going to take a few minutes. So I have this little kit that I'm going to be doing. I'll actually grab that. I'll show that to you guys really quick. So here is the kit that I'm going to be taking with me to go get my blood work done. I was trying to go through this Natera, the one that the doctor, this is what the doctor gave me, but I was trying to go through this place. Um, that's why it's highlighted for like their phone number and stuff, but there's only a two week window. So I can only do this between 13 and 15 weeks. So they weren't able to get me in between that time, but I'm actually able to go to any draw center. I just have to bring this with me, which I'll be doing today as well as my order form, which... I already have it in the car. I have like this little, um, I guess it's not a binder, but like a folder thing that kind of like folds and like has like a little tie, um, with all like important papers in there and it's plastic. So like if it's raining out, it's not going to get wet. Um, so I definitely just need to put this by my purse <laughs> to bring it with me because I don't bring this. I'm not too sure if they'll be able to use the other order form to just do, um, the genetic testing. This is just to make sure that the baby wouldn't have any abnormalities. Um, with Andrea, I actually did not see a doctor until after my 15 week mark because my insurance was messed up. So I did have a couple ER visits for like ultrasounds and stuff in between because I was bleeding. But um, so I didn't get to do the blood work with Andrea, but with Liam and Layla, I did. So I actually had to have an amnio test done because at my 20 week anatomy scan, she had a bunch of um, markers for like Down syndrome and something called Dandy Walker syndrome. So we wanted to make sure that there was no chromosome abnormalities, which this is what this is for. So if this comes back abnormal, um, which Andrea's came back normal for the fish test and for the amnio, if this were to come back abnormal, I would not do another amnio test. I already know what to expect during it. So not that I'm afraid, but there's just... Looking back now, there are so many risks and um, you get infections, you can get miscarriage, membranes, like your water break and stuff. Um, so I really, I, I'm just going to like opt out for it. So if anything were to come about, we would find out when the baby's born. Um, but as far as this goes, this is going to be today. It's going to be in a few hours. So it's right now it is 1245. My appointment's at 215. So I'm actually going to eat lunch before I go. Um, and then um, grab the kids and my husband's supposed to meet me there so he can watch the kids while they're going to sit in the car. But he actually has to leave work for a lunch break to um, go do that. So anyways, we are, like I said, we are almost 14 weeks um, from today. So two days from now, we're going to be 14 weeks. Um, I'm going to go over another in another video all my symptoms that I had in my first trimester. So I'm not going to go too into detail. This is kind of just like a pregnancy announcement and saying how excited we are and how we found out so um really just took a test because i was feeling really weird so um i just wanted to say that we are so excited and um i really just want you guys to really pray for us and really send your blessings because with andrew's uh 20 week anatomy scan
we had a bunch of bad news and it was just the whole pregnancy was just so scary which was my last pregnancy my third one or my third not my fourth this one's my fourth but my third one so um just send me your prayers your blessings everything that you can pray for us that everything's going to be okay because i have not had any ultrasounds done yet because there's really no reason i've had no bleeding this time around so i'm really just hoping that everything goes smoothly i know with babies who have CHD, like Andrea, their siblings, and um, um, three times more likely to have CHD. So we're really, really praying and hoping that that's not the case. But um, just send us your blessings.